Hey guys, Melinda Haynes, license number 102308. I wanted to talk today about the um, kind of conflict or discussion related to therapists telling their clients what their diagnoses are. So if you are a client, do you want to hear what your diagnosis is? And if you're a therapist, do you like to tell your clients or your patients what their diagnosis is? For me, for the most part, I do like to tell them if it's um, therapeutically beneficial and safe to, to do so. And I've even had discussions before with people regarding, you know, well, we've, you've got, you know, these kind of symptoms and here, this is like the, the diagnostic criteria for this and let's talk about this. And they've been able to be an active part of their diagnosis. Now that's, you know, gonna vary depending on, on client, our individual client. And also we can use this information when we have this discussion, we can say, you know, hey, here, here's the diagnostic criteria for this. Here are some of the day-to-day -day realities that you might find, you know, that are, are present in your life. And here are some of the, you know, clinically proven, you know, beneficial techniques in order to address this, both in the therapy office and also outside in your own life, things that you can do to help address this you know, issue that you're that you're currently having that's bringing you discomfort. So there is a positive benefit to being able to, to openly talk about the diagnosis, to um, gauge progress, not only for your notes, but also for the client, because the client's gonna wanna see progress throughout their time. So um, what do you guys think? Do you think yes, no, you know, tell them, don't tell them, like how, what have you done in your own practice or if you're, um, Client, don't, you know, don't give your personal information away, but what do you think? What do you think about this aspect of the therapeutic process, about diagnosis? All right, guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Please subscribe. Bye.